Hello and welcome to another episode of taking a closer look. Today we're going to have a closer look at the tier 10 Russian medium tank, the Object 430U. We'll have a look at its armour profile and we'll compare it to its closest rivals. We'll have a look at the armour on this 430U, we'll look at the turret first. 307, all the way back 350, going further on the sides, that goes massive as it slopes away. Can't say anywhere on the turret where you can penetrate, we'll have a look at these hatches. You can't penetrate that hatch. So don't bother trying to hit that. And this one. Slight chance. There's a slight chance there. Still nearly 290. I wouldn't bother trying. Be a good shot if you can hit that. So we'll have a look at the top plate now. Just under 280. 266 down here. You have got a chance of going through that. If you are going to shoot this top plate, I'd shoot lower on it rather than further up. But I wouldn't bother going for it. It's a wasted shell in my eyes. We'll have a look at the bottom plate. There you go. In the 170s. So you'll go through that. So if you come face to face with one of these tanks, I would definitely aim for the bottom plate. When it's angled, as you can see, this blue bit here is spaced armor. So you're not going to go through that. So I wouldn't bother trying to shoot that. But below, just above the tracks, about 200 here. So you can go through that. Have a look at the turret. See if we can get the side of the turret. Still with the angling, you're just wasting shells going for that. So I wouldn't bother trying to shoot it anywhere on the turret. We'll have a look at the top plate. With the angling, it's over 300. Yep, I wouldn't bother going for that. Lower plate. It's over 200. So if it is angled like this, see if you can get a shot into the lower plate if you can't try and get this bit underneath this spaced armor but i would mainly try and take the track off and go through this position here let's go to the comparison i've got it compared with the 121 the t62 here and the object 140 but i'm going to get rid of these two i'll show you why if you want DPM, you can see these two have got the same gun. It's a 100mm, so they've got the same DPM. Gun handling, the aim time is better on the 62 here compared to the 140. And the dispersion slightly better, but it's better moving on the 140. And you get an extra degree of gun depression. Mobility, slightly better on the 140. And armour, slightly better on the 140. So if you want something that's quick, good DPM, I would pick the 140 every time over the T62A. I think it's slightly better. So we'll get rid of them two, because them two were mainly for the DPM. And now we'll compare it against the 121. The DPM slightly better on the 121. Your penetration is as well. You do get to carry an extra 10 shells in the 430U. Gun handling, better on the 430U. Got the same gun depression at 5 degrees. Mobility, similar. I find the very similar on mobility. But this is the main thing, the armour. If you want the DPM, as I says, get the 140. If you want to go for armour with your Russian medium tanks, the 430U is definitely the one. Hull armour, 160, 90, 45, all better than the 121. 
Turret armor, 300 at the front, 195 at the side, 65 at the rear. All better than the 121. And the view range is exactly the same. So I find the 430U, I do have the 121. The 430U is just a better version of it. I'd like to thank you for watching this month's episode of Taking a Closer Look. I hope it was useful. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe, little icon, bottom right hand corner. And as always, if you have any feedback, please could you leave via thumbs button in the comment section below. Cheers.